Jennifer Priest here and today I'm going to share with you this really fun felt bib necklace for spring. You're going to need a Sizzix Big Shot machine, several Brenda Walton dies, scissors, glue, wool felt, and an assortment of beads, chain, and baubles. The first thing you're going to do is lay the cutting pad down on the table, put the die on it face up, lay on a piece of felt, put the other cutting pad on top to make the die sandwich, and run that through the Big Shot machine. You're going to repeat this with the different dies and with different colors of felt to get an assortment of leaves and flowers to create the bib necklace. So I'm using wool felt because it's a little bit denser. You can also use acrylic felt. Um, wool felt's a little bit pricier, but if you have a, a sensitivity to wool, I definitely recommend going with acrylic felt or some other type of fabric. The beauty is that the Sizzix dies will cut through all kinds of fabric. So cut the stems off the leaves and layer them together with some foam and felt glue to create the base of the bib necklace. Next, use some Aileen's Ultimate Adhesive with two pieces of chain to attach those to the ends of the bib and let that dry. Finally, add some flower pistols in the middle of the fringe piece that gets cut out by the die and glue that all together with Aileen's Ultimate Adhesive. Finally, add all of the flowers and appliques to the bib necklace as desired using that foam and felt glue. Now, uh, my flower pistols were drying while I was gluing everything else, so once those were dry, I went ahead and added those to the middles of these uh, camellia flowers. Um, I also used some Aileen's Ultimate glue. It's a very, very strong glue to glue on beads and baubles, etc., to the bib necklace just to give it a little bit more interest and because these are heavy I needed a stronger adhesive to hold them on. Once everything's dry add a clasp to the two ends of the chain. Now you can size this directly to your own neck so for me I needed a little bit wider bib and a little bit longer pieces of chain because I have a larger neck. If you have a smaller neck use a little bit less chain and make the bib a little bit smaller. So I hope you enjoyed this project today. Please hit the subscribe button here at the end if you'd like to get updates and you can click on the video that's playing to see another fun crafty tutorial. Have a great day. Bye.